Salutations and good morrow everyone. Welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we're hopping back into Grounded 5.0 but we are going to be talking a little bit more about one, a hidden cave in the game that reveals a creature that could or could not be added to the game. It looks like another totem creature that looks really neat but before we jump into all of that I'm also going to be answering a couple more questions that you guys have had for me and one is Sim what in the world is Pete currently wearing? What is the sword you have in your hand? And what is that other thing that he's holding that looks strangely like a shield? Well, I am here to tell you that it is a shield, actually. It is called the Weevil Shield, and that is the first thing we're going to start with today. So, the Weevil Shield is looks like an acorn shell right now. Um, it says, hopefully this shell will defend you better than the Weevil that it came from. It gives you plus to blocking strength, okay? And it does look like an actual Weevil shell, like you literally just ripped it off, and then you attached a couple wires or a couple uh, woven fiber to it and with some sap and you said it's good so right now you cannot actually craft this in the game you actually spawn it into the game which is okay um, you have to use some console commands in order to get it in there but I'm going to guess just by looking at it that this is probably going to be one maybe two weevil shells um, a couple woven fiber and some sap in order to make this just by looking at the general construction of it uh, That looks to be about what it's gonna take in order to make it It's a pretty neat weapon or well really it's it, it is just a shield um, But it's still it's pretty cool and you can actually block with it So if you guys look here's Pete actually blocking with the shield all you have to do is just hold your left action button like you were going to do if you were to hold up a torch or something. So it's like clicking with the weapon, but uh, blocking instead, which is really cool because if you have blocking strength plus blocking strength plus blocking strength, your blocking strength becomes pretty darn high. And even in woe mode, fighting back wolf spiders and bombardier beetles shouldn't be as difficult. So it's really just a cool thing that happened. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk to you guys about a little bit more is I want to talk to you guys about the hat that I'm wearing. A lot of people have asked me, Sim, what the heck is the hat that you're wearing right now? Because uh, they see it and they're like, ooh. Ooh, fancy uh, guys this hat where to where is it in here it's right here there it is it's called the firefly headlamp okay it's a well-crafted helmet that grants light while leaving bold hands free um, in order for this hat to actually come into the game it is going to require the firefly to come into the game this is once again not craftable quite yet it's going to be soon the defense is rather low on it i'm sure that this is just um a lower stat just because it's not fully developed yet even if you look right here you can see that the texture is not yet complete so they are still working on that so bear with the developers while they get this completed, but it really does give you quite the amount of light when you're running around. As you guys have seen a cup past couple of my videos, it actually does pretty good of lighting things up for you even when it becomes nighttime. So pretty cool addition to the game. Cannot wait for that to actually be fully released in the game because it's going to be pretty darn cool once we finally can go through and uh, check out everything with this cool headlamp. And also when we finally get a new bug in the game, aka the firefly, because it's going to be really neat when we can finally have more things roaming the backyard, um, especially with other things like uh, crickets and, and other um, bugs that are planning on coming as well, including bees, hornets, and mosquitoes. But that is a topic for another day. But speaking of mosquitoes, guys, then we will talk about the final thing that Pete is currently wearing right now, and that is the Mosquito Repair. Okay, so this weapon right here. Now, the damage on this is not turned up all the way yet. There is no stun on it, which I believe is going to stay that way, and the speed is very high, which makes sense for the type of weapon that it is. It is a fast, deadly repair that mimics the functionality of the Mosquito's blood-sucking tool. It's called the Mosquito Needle. It's a Tier 2 weapon, and I'm very, very, very excited excited for this to come to the game as you can see it is almost complete i believe that there's just a little bit more painting maybe that needs to be done on this unless this is what they intend for it to look like but you can see that it actually is a needle point on the top like a mosquito's beak um, and then it comes down and it has a little hand guard which is really cool looking okay you know to, to topple this off i mean literally here let's let's do this up really quick um, with this weapon and um, the shield, if you were to say, I don't know, go through here and slap a couple pieces of ladybug gear out, just something really quick, and then equipped it up, I mean, your person literally starts looking pretty close to a, to a knight, the best that they can be. I mean, look at that. Heck yeah. 
Now that's some cool stuff, but let's face it, this hat is still is still pretty neat. So, um, but yeah, so that is really the weapons that I have. But before I leave the mosquito needle topic, I want to talk to you guys about what the actual skill that it has here is. Um, as you guys can see, it has life steal on here. That is not a joke. When you actually use this weapon against bugs in the game, it heals you every single time you hit something. So. Say you're fighting a stink bug, the gas is getting to you, but you have enough stamina to sit there and stab it for a while. You may be able to make it through a gas blast by just using this weapon. And I'm not kidding when I say it swings bright quite quick so it's pretty darn good all right so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into these caves and i'm gonna show you guys around and what is really out of the game and how you guys can get into these different caves so here is the first one okay swimming back through here um let me put my fin flops back on because fin flops are amazing at getting you through things faster right in here this is guys where that strange totem that i was telling you guys is that you saw in the thumbnail this is what you guys were looking for and here is right here okay you swim all the way through here you can see all of these ant heads ant totems all around in here you swim all the way up whoever put these here is absolutely insane just saying um, and then you swim up you have even more ant heads all surrounding this really weird looking ant totem that's in the game and in his hand he actually is holding the recipe in order to make this guy okay you can actually make it um, it's not impossible to make it it is under decor the abomination the abomination totem it says the abomination totem a, dis a disturbing and horrendous abomination what purpose could it possibly serve so first off two bombardier parts legs two ant mandibles face uh and butt uh, water boatman fins arms and two larva spikes the back so that goes on to tell you guys that this is quite the thing to craft and i have a feeling that something like this holds a higher purpose in the game i have a feeling that there may be some sort of science power bugs i mean you guys have seen what's inside of the berry lab from previous videos on the channel i mean there can only be there's got to be some reason for this being here along with the other totems and all of the ant head totems as well that are currently in the game so there's got to be a reason for this guy being in here what that is i'm not sure but if you look i mean it's it's almost the same size as a pete so fighting against something like this i mean that could be kind of difficult so other than that, there are a couple other caves that are in the game. I'd like to swim over to them now to show you guys those. Um, they're not quite as exciting as what's inside of this cave because this one has obviously that abomination totem in it. And Lord only knows what all they're going to do with that. Also, quick shout out to my good friend Mike Lowry for pointing out all these caves to me and putting the markers down for me. I do appreciate that, my good friend. Also, so let's swing over to this next cave. This next cave over here, guys, this one might be a little bit more familiar to you guys if you guys were watching my uh, past live stream series that I've been doing while playing on WoW mode. Uh, this cave right here actually houses the rotten fin flops in the game. So you swim up right over here. You swim on down here. Be careful because there may be some um, diving bell spiders that are in here, but you'll know you're in the right place if you have these... Um, these yellowish flowers over here and then if you look on the ground there's actually going to be a skeleton right back over here and right near that skeleton right there there it is uh there is the rotten fin flops on the ground so just go ahead and grab those it's a great way to start in the game you can get down here in and out of this area without dying as long as you are very 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 quick once you get out of here to go straight for air and also put those fin flops on as soon as you get them because they will help you swim faster. But even with, without the guild tube, you are still fast enough to get down there and get back out. You just have to be very careful and try not to fight anything while you're down there either because you can die fairly easy. Okay, the last cave I'm going to swim over to, guys. This one is not as exciting. It doesn't really have anything as cool as the other two in it. But it's still neat that there's a cave in the game. And I said, screw it. Let's swim on over here and let's check this one out as well. Hey, look, some money. Gotta love money. All right, let's swim up over this way. And you guys can see the final cave is marked with a marker over here. You could swim on in here. Like I said, though, this one isn't as cool. Um, you swim up underneath here. 
And as you're back in here, it's kind of like the three leaf clover area, the four leaf clover area. It's got this thing in here. I don't know what the significance of this is yet. I don't know if this is a call out from another game that they're doing some sort of like, um, special shout out to the game or something like that i don't know i don't think so but right now there is not anything in this cave that you can actually pick up no scabbies um just a bunch of algae nothing special it's just another place to go and explore for your character so i would suggest going and checking it out because it's cool to 100 percent everything in the game trust me when i say that i am a completionist when it comes to this game but guys that is all the time i have left for this video so thank you everybody so much for watching this video if you guys could make sure you guys smash that like button for me to make sure i know that you guys are enjoying these grounded videos leave me a comment down below of other things that you guys would like to see come to the game and i'll make sure that i heart that for you or if you're part of the kick club all you need to do is mention kick and you also get a thumbs up for me as well make sure you guys hit that join button as well if you guys can i do appreciate the support and also subscribe and turn your bell notification to all and as always i will see all of you guys in the next one